Hello everyone, it's me, DSAP again, and we're back here in Satisfactory. So between this video and the last one, I set up a manufacturer to make supercomputers because I was getting tired of uh, manually making them. So I already had most of the stuff here besides the AI uh, limiters. I just had to run a single line over here for that. But today, I want to go in here and make one of these guys. Oh, uh, let's line this up right. So I want to end up setting up this guy to make these magnetic field generators. They're needed for the elevator task. And they take batteries. So, in order to be able to hook this up later, I need to be able to make batteries. So, I pre planned out a little thing over here to uh, put together. And uh, be able to make or produce the batteries for me. It's not going to be like a crazy rate, it's just uh, dealing with the extra supply and stuff I have, so nothing too crazy, but I have uh, already set up like the machines and everything for it, but I need to run some lines and actually Make some of it still. Alright, do you have. Yeah, I already ran the power down here. So I was trying to figure out where I was going to get my water from. But luckily, there was a little section here that didn't have a floor. I did remove the belts I put in the other day. These little things, just concrete and the beams. I just scooted them over here and still have them connected. But I needed to be able to place one water guy. I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, I can delete the floor over there, but. That's just a visual thing. I don't think that's actually colliding. It's just in its space. So, I'm going to hook this up. And I'm going to set it to do 80. So, let's go to my pipe section here. And we'll run a pipe over here. Where is it? Right there. Let's make sure. I don't know. So I'm just going to place one on here. Oh, no, I'm not. I have to go get some motors before I can do that. So let me quickly run and get the motors. I wasn't aware that I was out of them. They're running low. Oh, I did add some machines and like these uh, assembler areas. I've just been looking to see like what I'm running low on and stuff and just adding to it. So some of them's like completely full, some of them's not. I'm in the wrong building. But like the motors I always have a ton of so I don't think I have six of those hooked up yet. 
but these manual uh these frames i think i'm gonna have to add another layer on here for them oh the rotors i don't know i mean i'm still it's like gathering them but it's not full so so it's like almost evening out but i am going to add a pump on here just to be safe that way i don't have to worry about it now i can go back to uh my regular bar so that's going to be producing 80 and i got it hooked up to a buffer Now this should be filling up with water. Soon. Oh. You know what? Now I know what I can do. Let's make this better because uh, I learned this mistake not too long ago when I was messing with the power stuff and I don't think I'll be able to place it there so put it there. And we'll have this, oop. We'll have this pipe come up and then drop down into the buffer. That way it won't try to back, oh, crack on itself. Ah, hey. All right, so now let's put those lines together. Now, when the water comes in, it shouldn't be trying to go back the other way. Because they'll want to fill up this big tank first before trying to go back. Yeah, see, now it's just collecting water. That's good. So. Here's the fun part. I need to do this and these. I guess I should show you guys uh, what I'm doing here. So I got a single uh, blender that's going to be making batteries and it's going to take sulfuric acid 50 and alumina solution 40 and then alumina casings and it produces batteries and a little bit of water. So. I was going to go ahead and hook up these water pipes. Like so. So now it should be putting water in here and here. And then while that's doing that, I need to get my other stuff. So. I need to move these because they're too close. It's just like placeholders for my thinking. So let's do that. That. Uh, I bet you it would have worked if I would have clicked on that bottom part. I always do that wrong for some reason. Hopefully I should be right. All right, so I've been thinking about smart ways of doing this and I'm going to put a smart splitter here and then we have any going straight and I'm going to do overflow on this uh, 
line here. So basically, anytime it's not moving, or it's not putting stuff in there, it's gonna be bringing materials over here. So once it tries to overflow, it's just gonna run the extra material over here. So there might be gaps and stuff, but that should be fine. And then I'm also doing the same thing over here. I'm going to be putting a smart splitter, but like right now, this line's not really doing much anyways, because that's full and it's all backed up. But in case it needs some at the nuclear stuff, I'm going to let it take it first before it makes the batteries. And then I can bring this line over here and connect it up as well. And I'll be feeding the resources up. All right, so now these two should be getting the resources. And then this one has a secondary uh, production, which is silica. I was thinking about just adding it to the silica line here, but if you look here, it's like it's the perfect amount here that it doesn't back up so i'm afraid to add any more to it i'll probably end up dumping the little bit of silica that's coming off that machine so we got two different pipes we got to run here I already set up the little guys here. Go up and down. And then this one has a byproduct, which was the water so let's do something like so I'm gonna send the water up And then send it back over here. Oop, I didn't put a... I'm just going to have that water come back and then go into that pipe. And if you remember, I set that to 80. The reason I did that was because this takes 50 and 60 water. Because I got this underclock to match that machine. Because I only needed 40 alumina solution and 40 on here. So this one and this one takes 110 water. Well, this produces an extra. 30 water so 110 minus 30 is 80 and I put the fluid buffer on here so I have a little bit to start out with and then it should just keep itself running so and if not I can just add a little bit more power to the machine so this is oh, oh no 
I still need a movement key soon. So let's see. We have this guy. Yeah. See, if I would have just clicked on the bottom, it can connect super close like that. So I need to get casings from here, which they're already running out, and I think going over there. So, where was that? Right here. No, oh, too, too close. All right. Now the casing is going to go up here into the machine. Uh, there's no power over here. All right. Now this should be getting its casing. And then let's set up the back. Because I already had like all of this pre-planned out. For the most part. Alright, so organization. It's going to set that guy there. And put a, of course not. All right, I need to get some smart plating, or not smart plating, reinforced plating. I'm just gonna drop down here. Oops. I think I only need two. The Getty mess. All right, so head back over here, and I can add the smart splitter up and start working with the overflow. So the batteries will come out, go in there. So left's going to be or it's going to be overflow. Sometimes that bugs and you can't actually put any. So it's going to go that way unless that's full and then it's going to overflow. So then I'm going to have to come out to there. Let's do something like this. And then I'll bring this guy. Over to. Merge. Uh. I'm going to put it all the way up here so I can not run into that because I need to leave room here to put a thing to go on the ground. A uh, conveyor hole. Alright, so now the silica that's coming off of that machine will go over here and feed into this dump line. Or sink line. And I'm just going to add it to the alumina sink. So then I'll come down and just go straight under that. So that was just a quick little idea I had last night. So I was like, oh, that will work. And it just uses like the extra resources off those lines. And I had like just enough load, uh, area here to pull it off so kind of happy with myself so we'll start these machines up so 
they should be getting their water and then producing their stuff. And then they could go to the blender. But it just needs time to build up. Uh, one second. Sorry, I had to cough, so muted the microphone again. All right, so now this thing should be turning on. Yes, producing some batteries. Nice. And then this is the coolest thing with these guys. The little top. So now I have the batteries. So now all I have to do is put this little guy here and reverse it. There we go. So that's ready for when I need it over here. All I have to do is put a little conveyor there going on the bottom. Conveyor lift. And it's already produced 14 batteries. Jeez. But this machine up here only takes, uh, I think, five batteries per minute. So it's going to be producing an extra 15. And that also is a good thing because my next thing I want to do is go mess with the nitrogen and I was thinking about running a power line just across the land and then using drones to go out there drop off uh, bottles empty bottles filling them up and then bringing those back here to make stuff and then using the drones to get back and forth but you need batteries to run those so so now i just have to bring these things over here and then i'll be making uh that guy for my uh, elevator and then the only other one that's left is uh i think it's a is it a assembler i don't know i'll have to look into it but i know I, I should be able to make like the first one but i can't make the other two yet but this is part of the thing i have to get set up to get the nitrogen so i can make the item unlock the stuff to get rid of the nuclear waste and then I can make my nuclear power plant as big as I can over there but I'm just gonna do this part off screen because you guys know I have the batteries now which are over there or over in that area I have the electronic oh these electromagnetic control rods being made over in my assembler area and then uh, these versatile frames is right here I think I don't think it's this one. Oh no versatile frames are all the way over there it's an assembler item so I'll have to run that line over here as well I need to run actually three lines from over there over here but that shouldn't be too bad. And then my wall is just gonna look. Three items, okay. So, got another three item hole. It's gonna look like that. And then. Just do the same thing over and over again. Bus line type thing with the lifts. And then stick it, stick it downstairs. Storage, split it, you go to a merger, you go to the dump. But, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little video of me getting the stuff prepared to turn this guy on. 
and I'll probably uh, just go ahead and connect this all up and get it running and storing items. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.